founded in 1979 Bahrain Islamic Bank, emerged as the pioneer of Islamic banking in Bahrain and the fourth in the GCC region. Its contribution to the growth of the Islamic banking sector and the kingdom economy has been pivotal. Bahrain Islamic Bank has solidified its position as the leading Sharia-compliant bank through its unwavering commitment to continuous innovation, robust corporate governance, effective risk management, employee development, and utilization of cutting-edge technology to deliver exceptional customer service. Driven by Islamic principles, BISP has established itself as a trailblazer in the Islamic industry and a foremost provider of comprehensive Sharia-compliant financial solutions in Bahrain. With a customer-centric approach, BISP constantly evolves to meet the evolving needs and preferences of its customers, demonstrating its forward-thinking nature. Innovation has always been at the heart of BISP's operations and financial offerings, making them influential leaders in the industry. They have achieved significant milestones in their digitization efforts, elevating banking standards in the kingdom and positively impacting society. Today, we have with us the CEO of BISB, Mr. Yasser Al-Sharifi, who played an instrumental role in the success of the organization. Let's have a detailed chat with him about the journey of BISB. It's been over six months since you took over as the CEO. Um, could you please talk to us about some of the positive changes you have brought to the Bahrain Islamic Bank? Good afternoon and welcome to the bank. Uh, I'm delighted to be here and uh, the eight months that I've been here have gone in a flash. Uh, it's exciting to see when I come in every day the morale and the excitement and the enthusiasm that's come back to the bank. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have uh, today a team uh, surrounded by experienced executives from BISB, plus a group that I've managed to recruit from the bank that believe in the vision and the direction that we've decided to take for the future. BISB has won ISO certification in environmental management, occupational health and safety management system, a part of uh, supporting Bahrain's national afforestation campaign. Could you please uh, tell us about the climate goals taken by your organization? As an institution, we take ESG principles uh, quite seriously. For us, these are not an added banner to have and promote. We believe that the principles of ESG are closely aligned with the principles of Sharia banking and Islamic banking. Uh, the elements of responsibility, being a, a good citizen, uh, believing in a high level of governance, um, the sustainability elements, are all embedded in the principles of our religion. And therefore, as a financial institution, we try to find ways to be able to deliver those within our programs, whether it is the reforestation um, efforts that we've undertaken uh, as a team. And th these are also um, uh, great moments for us to be able to pull the bank's employees towards their volunteer um, efforts. Uh, we're looking at the possibility of uh, green instruments in the future and uh, anywhere else we can support our customers uh, in their efforts, whether it's with solar panels or other elements that work hand in hand with innovation in the space. Bahrain Islamic Bank has won the honor of the most innovative Islamic bank in Bahrain uh, in the International Financial Awards 2022. What is your reaction to that? The reaction is one of delight because it fits perfectly well with the DNA of the bank. Uh, innovation is a core principle for us as an institution and being recognized by our peers and by the industry and having achieved that uh, is a great honor for us and one that provides us the impetus to continue to try harder and, and uh, innovate further. In 2022, BISB has launched uh, 
the corporate branding services package for startups and SMEs. How impactful was this initiative? The initiative was well thought through by the team, who uh, fortunately for me had started to think, what is it that the client and the customer needs? Uh, what are the pain points for uh, the new businesses? And one area that they found uh, is the marketing and branding effort that a lot of new businesses suffer from once they get uh, going. And therefore, it provided a fantastic opportunity for us to bring in resources from the student community who have fresh ideas, work with these entrepreneurs, pull in the expertise of our marketing and, and branding team uh, to help with the success of these startups that are important for us as an institution and, and also our core belief that building a strong SME segment is important for economic success for our country. Your business as well uh, has enabled companies under formation to open uh, corporate online accounts. Uh, talk to us uh, more about that scheme. It's another testament to the bank's efforts to continuously think about how can we make life easier and simpler for our customers. Um, starting a, a business is quite a challenge, um, and I applaud and um, recognize the efforts of the entrepreneurs who take on the risks of putting a new business together. And from our perspective, we try to think, how can we make their journey easier towards success? And in this instance, we focus on the onboarding process. How do we simplify their ability to start and open a bank account? And beyond that, over time, how to transact and grow. Bahrain Islamic Bank has been recognized for its work in the field of Islamic finance and banking. Could you please uh, enlighten our viewers and readers about the key achievements uh, in this area? Thanks and appreciation for that recognition goes to our customers. We've been blessed as an institution to have a very loyal customer base. And it's our responsibility to continue to exceed the expectations of this customer base. And as a philosophy, our focus is to continue to innovate and design things always with the customer at the center of that. Can you please tell us about the digital services your esteemed organization provides? The bank believes that digital is the future. Um, Bahrain Islamic Bank's digital journey started much earlier than many institutions on the island. And till today, we consider ourselves a leader in the space. The view that we have is digital is not a channel or a single product. It is everything that we do. Now, there are some parts that are visible to our customers, and that is in the form of our digital retail platform, our corporate online banking platform. Uh, uh, these are accessible through the mobile apps. They're accessible uh, online. Uh, and there's a lot of work that's gone into digi digitalizing the processes internally within the bank. And this stems from this belief that we should always think about how we simplify things, do them better, with an eye on protecting the customer's uh, security, privacy, and ability to transact in a safe uh, and sustainable way. How has been the responses uh, from the clients who opted for your banking services? Well, we've had very positive uh, responses from our customer base. In actual fact, we're so keen to continue our improvement plans based on customer feedback that we are working internally with our strategy team, our business teams, to have regular touch points with customers to be able to capture that feedback in different forms. We monitor our NPS scores, we monitor the complaints logs, we have regular visits with the customers, we've launched QR codes in the branches and on the online platform so that we can get that feedback and be able to have those designed in terms of prioritizing what is important to the customer so we can drive uh, success for both the customer and the institution. You have often collaborated with uh, fintech students from various universities, as well as uh, handing out uh, internship to many. Um, why do you think it's important to support youngsters and uh, future talents? 
That's a great question. Um, the youth are the future, right? Um, and new ideas, new attitudes, new approaches come with engaging different parties. And to succeed in today's world, which uh, faces a lot of disruption, a lot of convergence before, between different industries, it requires a level of collaboration and partnership to be able to achieve success. Uh, no one can do everything really well. So we as an institution have to be true and honest about what our core strengths are and bring together the community and the partners that can deliver value across different disciplines and elements. And obviously, we view the talent of the youth today as starting as students, potentially as professionals, business owners, entrepreneurs, um, employees. Um, so for us, uh, we'd like to engage with them in their journeys early on and see that growth and development uh, flourish together. You have always been one of the most sought after banks in Bahrain. What do you think differentiates you from your competitors? I believe that Bahrain Islamic Bank has several factors that sets it apart. Um, we talk about being a Bahraini bank, right? Um, Bahraini for us means Bahraini hospitality, Bahraini pleasant interactions, um, a sense of community and friendliness that extends to our customer and our employees' interactions with the society and community. This works hand in hand with our social responsibility as a Sharia compliant bank, uh, goes back to our ESG principles. This is supported by our innovative approach, always looking to see how we can do things better, how we can think about the customer at the center of everything we do. And then innovation comes with simplification, and we'd like to be bold. So for us, the, we are fortunate to be in Bahrain, uh, a country and an economy that has great potential. Despite the economic challenges, we have a clear vision, and the leadership have set a path that we believe as an institution we have an active role to play. Uh, and this works well because our customers believe that we can help them through their life journeys. In the last few years, the banking industry has been shifting towards digitization. What steps uh, has your esteemed company taken in order to adapt to this change? Change management and being agile uh, starts with the mindset. And at BISB, we're fortunate to have that mindset for continuous improvement digitalization stem from the top. So from our board of directors, we have a clear path. We have support. Um, as a management team, uh, I'm delighted to see that the, the drive and the ideas come from a belief that digitalization will improve and set apart the dealings of the institution, help enable more customers, whether they're individual retail customers or corporate customers, to grow and achieve their ambitions. And therefore, in terms of how we've approached it, it started from within. So process improvement, challenging how things are done, deciding on where priorities are, and then what should be done and what shouldn't be done. Both are important. And then obviously, launching and prioritizing the features that are important for our customers um, in terms of their journey and financial ambitions. So all of these elements are the secret sauce towards our continued digitalization uh, process. Great. We're going to talk more about secrets now. <laughs> so um, your annual report looks impressive and can you share with us some secrets that comes behind that success? So I think the thanks and the appreciation for the quality of our annual report goes to the internal team. It was their drive to enhance 
our uh, governance, information sharing, and disclosures towards our shareholders and the market in a way that is accessible and interactive. Uh, the bank um, is in its third year of its current three-year cycle. We've engaged with the teams in our development of the next three-year planning cycle, which will be the 2024 to 2026 plans. There's a lot to come, and we'll have to have a separate interview to discuss that. Thank you so much, Mr. Yasser. It's been a pleasure talking to you. It was such an inspirational chat. Hope to see you soon in other awards. Wish you all the best.